So when it comes to iPhones, to be honest, literally everybody has them. And one of the big things is, is that every time Apple releases a new phone, you have to transfer your data from your old device to your new device. And sometimes that data might be lost, corrupted, or just straight up sometimes your data gets erased. Well, that's where PhonePaw comes in. PhonePaw is an iPhone data recovery tool. It actually allows you to recover your data from Apple devices in numerous different ways. But if you guys do enjoy and you want to go check out PhonePaw, make sure you go check out the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment. Thank you to the people over at PhonePaw for making this video possible. And I hope you guys do enjoy. Let's get right into it. Okay, guys. So we are on PhonePaw's website right now. And I just quickly wanted to run you guys through the website before I actually show you the software itself so like i mentioned before it's an iphone data recovery software and uh it just allows you to recover your data <laughs> like literally that's all there is to it but i'm um, really cool application and i'm gonna get into it in a second like you can see professional iphone data recovery software for windows and mac so this will work on windows or mac and so we're able to recover del deleted data from ios devices itunes and icloud it supports 30 plus different file types so all of your different files that you would have on your iphone itself such as you know pictures videos messages just contacts all that stuff and it's compatible with the newest iphones which you don't see that a lot in terms of these other competing software so it's cool that it actually supports ios 17 it's great now coming down here we can see it recovers any lost ios data in multiple different scenarios this kind of outlines the different scenarios here it shows the data recovery modes to restore the data from all ios devices so we can see recover from iphone slash ipad directly itunes backup and, rec and recover icloud sync files so that's basically that and we're also able Able to kind of see the different formats that it accepts photos contacts messages videos call history line whatsapp audio all that stuff and it's compatible with the newest devices and it just kind of outlines all the other stuff here as well as walks you through the process that's basically that i'm gonna get my phone connected and boot up i'm gonna boot up phone paw and we're gonna see what the software is all about so i'll see you guys in there okay so i'm inside of phone paw right now and we can see the this is just the interface of the software itself and it gives us kind of this four tab on the side here recover from ios device recover from itunes backup file recover from iCloud and more tools starting off with the recover from iOS device so we can start a scan on our plugged in phone and it's going to actually run us through the process right here it kind of shows the steps we're going to X out of this and it's going to show what it's able to find so for example messages message attachments contacts call history voicemail camera roll photo stream photo library all that time and what it does is it gives us an updated timer on the very top it's going to actually ask us for our passcode so I'm going to type that in and it's going to give the computer access to all of my stuff so we can see for example our camera roll has already started to sync and we're able to actually press recover for example um so we'd come through the so we'd come through each individual file type to actually see so we would check our boxes once everything gets imported um we could see that scanning data is literally only at 16 percent analyzing data is at three percent and it's already found all this stuff which is crazy that that's just the case i have 26 000 pictures on this which is ridiculous um <laughs> so that's that's basically that in itself and what it would do is it would come through here it would show up with all the call history contacts messages once everything else kind of showed up and we gave it some time to run through but i'm actually just going to stop it and i'm gonna just press yes okay and we're able to kind of see the results so if we wanted to uh we could come through our camera roll right here and we can individually select pictures that we don't want to save to our device so that's cool and it just kind of shows us um the size of everything and how much it would you know be in terms of storage to download it to our computer so we got photo library camera library photo library is pretty small but if we go to camera roll dude, it's just ridiculous how many pictures i have on my phone i'm just gonna go back and press okay and now we can see the recover from itunes backup file this would be if we had itunes backup file on our computer if we had it downloaded from a previous device or we could actually download it if we wanted to from a previous device from itunes we would be able to literally take that file upload it to here and then apply it to the phone that we had connected to our computer so it's cool that this software allows us to do that and then recovering from iCloud allows us to sign into our Apple ID and it will download a backup off of the cloud that we can also apply to the phone. So let's say if you lost your old device, for example, you have your new device and you want to restore from a backup that you previously had in the cloud, you could do that on this software. It's insane. You're able to either download a recovery backup from an existing phone. You're able to also get one from an iTunes file as well as the cloud. So all three bases are covered. It's ridiculous. There's literally no gap 
apps in the software, no matter what situation you're in, you should be able to back up your iPhone, which is awesome. You'll be able to transfer your data to your new device. Or if you lost all your you know, data on your existing device, you could use the software as well. Now more tools right here will actually show the iOS system recovery or the iOS transfer. Those are just kind of things you can go and investigate on your own. But if you guys want to go check out Foam Paw, I'm gonna have a link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment for you guys to actually check it out. I tend to check out a lot of softwares on my channel and this one is actually one of the most practical that I've actually seen and definitely could be applied to a lot of different scenarios that I have with my own devices. For example, I literally just got a new phone about two weeks ago. I got an iPhone 13 and when transferring my data from my XR to my 13, I had a bit of an issue with the wireless transfer from device to device. So what I had to do is I had to plug in my old phone, download all the pictures off. I had to go through a bunch of different files and then I had to manually drag and drop them on my new phone in File Explorer on my Windows PC. It was a really long process, but with a software like this, I would have been able to do it in a matter of minutes. So I kind of wish that I knew about the software before that. Um, this is a great example of if you have a use for it or you think you'll have a use for it, make sure to go check it out. It doesn't hurt. Just go check out the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Massive shout out to the people over at Phone Paw for making this video possible. And I will see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.